Hey guys, welcome back to Matlock's Toy Room Reviews, and today I'm very excited to be doing the, which is actually my last Mighty Max playset, so for those of you who don't like Mighty Max, it's your lucky day because this is the last one, but for those of you who do, this is still good because this is somewhat the holy grail of Mighty Max playsets. Um, it's not necessarily the rarest. Um, but definitely the best in my opinion. This is the Series 1 Skull Mountain. Very, very cool. So it's a, just a giant fiery volcano. This is actually the front. I had it backwards. You can see the uh, gold emblem there. The Mighty Max logo. Kind of looks like a mouth down here. With some eyes. Very cool. Got like a lot of different detail walkway and stuff. It's got a lot of nice color on it. Kind of like a little castle thing here. Just giving you a quick look at the outside. Very cool. If you can see just how small it is. Uh, here's a normal little uh, horror head. So very large compared to that. But uh, pops open just on the side. Reveals inside of a volcano or a mountain or whatever. Very cool. Um, has a little piece, little island that kind of comes off. Show you some of the detail. I have a lot of the accessories already pulled out of this thing, just to show you guys. Very cool. Um, it's got a little peg hole here. I'm not sure. There's one here too, but uh, the one over here, I'll kind of zoom in down on this side. But uh, it's got this little uh, walkway that kind of swivels around that can be pegged in just to kind of hold the little island on you see that I'm not really sure what this peg hole is for um, I bought this used I didn't have it in the box so I definitely didn't have this one as a kid but uh so I'm not really too sure I could be missing just a few things but I think it's complete but uh, it's got this crazy like kind of rocket thing down here but uh this piece is actually removable. It's like on a spring, so it kind of shoots off. But up here towards the top, um, it has a little launcher. It can be uh, posted on here. And you just use this little yellow thing to launch it. But it, it launches pretty high in the air. Very cool. Um, kind of hard to do this one, actually, because this is a pretty big kind of place that a lot of stuff going on. So I'm going to take the island off real quick. Just kind of show you some of the stuff that's going on in here. Just a lot of rocky terrain. You can set up a lot of little creatures in there. Um, you pan up a little bit um, from the yellow walkway. Just kind of a little staircase that goes around. There's this really cool looking elevator which you can put a character in here. And uh, pan up just to show you. At the top it's got the little uh, castle kind of tower thing. So you turn that. And the tower goes up. Mine's kind of messed up because it doesn't really clamp on very well. But uh, it does go all the way up. And if you see, the elevator is connected to it. So it raises up with it. Very cool. And then just that little piece that I showed you just a second ago. Kind of swivels in and out. And then there's another little platform here. Which uh, holds the two-headed dragon. Very cool. I'll go through all the characters here in a little bit. But Two-Headed Dragon sits up there. It's very cool. And then uh, over here in the center of the playset, you have another one of those little uh, kind of castle towers that you can put figures in. Um, there's also this uh, kind of little walkway that kind of moves around. Let's see. And it goes through the hole so you can put it like all the way out. And it'll show up from the back side as well. It just kind of flows around like that. And then over here, you have <clears throat> some more just little standing places. Um, this is pretty cool. It's a, uh, you can see the whole, probably can't see it that well. There's a panel on the front that is actually moving around. I'll turn around here in a little bit and show you that. I guess I'll go ahead and do it. Um, it's like the cave mouth with the logo there. 
you turn the axe on the other side, you can do it with your hand too, and it opens up the, the entrance to the cave, which is pretty cool. But from the, the back view, it's that axe that kind of turns around and does it. And there's also a little catapult here, which it comes with uh, two little, I think I might be even missing a ball, but there's just a little ball that can be launched, or um, this kind of fireball little peg down there. Very cool. I think there isn't just another ball that's supposed to have, but I don't have it. <clears throat> and then down in the very last compartment, down on the bottom, <clears throat> you have the, there's a little, uh, kind of a little stairway that folds down, and then the, uh, from the entrance on the front, you can see that it's like the giant with the teeth and it's got like the tongue kind of folds out so it's an entrance into the, the cave which is pretty cool. And then down below it's kind of hard to see but there's a lot of little stuff down in there. It just kind of pops back in. And then there's a little crab, you can see there's just a little thing on the side here, the crab. Kind of like goes back in this cave and kind of jumps out to attack, which is pretty cool. So that's about it for the terrain. Um, we'll go ahead and take a look at some of the characters you get. It's a very cool, a lot of little action features and whatnot going on. But a lot of characters as well. I showed you the two-headed dragon, which is very cool. Uh, the heads each swivel around. Very cool. They're all orange except for the eyes and the mouth, which are painted green, which are pretty cool. And then, of course, the little uh, giant rocket that shoots off. Then you get this really cool looking like, turtle, kind of a hollow shell or whatever, but very cool. Of course, you get a Mighty Max figure. And you get this really cool like, minotaur looking guy. Giant sword and another weapon. Very cool. You get this really cool wizard, which is one of my favorite characters. He's got like the orange body. His uh, upper part like kind of spins around. He's got a really tall like staff or whatever. Very cool. Um, of course, the little catapulting fireballs. You get this really cool looking demon guy. And you get a really cool looking shark, which uh, has a little attack feature. It's like a hammerhead shark, and it's got a spring in there. Just punch out a bigger character or whatever. It's so very cool. Um, I seem to remember there being something to do with this. It's got this big like round thing that has a screw in it. But I think that connects in somewhere. I don't remember exactly. Uh, if you guys have any idea, let me know. It's been a long time since I really messed with this thing. But, uh... I have these other two characters. Um, I don't believe these go with this set, but uh, I'm almost positive these are Mighty Max, but I can't find on anything. Like these are just kind of my two extra little figures on what set these go with. Um, so if you guys know what sets these go with, let me know, because I really like these guys. I just have no clue what they go with. But I always use them with this set just because it's so big and it, it could use the extra characters. So as you can see, you get so many figures, so many uh, just different action features and stuff going on. And just a couple other things, there's a little uh, another little tower thing out here on the front. It's just kind of not connected to the, the back. You can put little figures in and stuff. And I really like that. You can put like just a little wizard up there or, you know, the minotaur. And you can stand in a little tower. That was always really cool. So just definitely, I mean, you know sure you guys can imagine and just tell by looking at it how awesome this thing is and how how I call it the Holy Grail. Um, so each series has a playset. This is the series one playset. The series two I did a review on which was the uh, Dragon Skull Island or whatever. And then there is a series three playset which is incredibly rare but it's a giant skull but I really want that one so Hopefully in the future you guys can see a review on that from me, because I'd like to pick that one up. But anyways, that was the Skull Mountain.
Thanks for checking it out.